Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 149 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. So, Mr. Mary Rakuna, here we go. You know, I said that I would make this all in one video. Hey, look at them. And then I went and did it in a trial run. This map is disappointingly short. But, here we go. In any case, we're off to save the god pariah sealed inside that giant tactical weapon. Now that we've got all our methods in order. Well, he's not contributing any more than he was before. He's still trying to get out. And he's still screaming. His screams shake the whole labyrinth, in fact. So, those shackles that bind down the entire weapon... Hmm. He's trying to pull them up bit by bit, but... Well, he's gone completely crazy now. Still the same kind of pressure you we feel in his presence though. So Pariah looks to be suffering so much. So just wait a little bit more. We're absolutely going to save you now. Alright, Avaro, please. Open up a way to the central portion with the magic stones. Alright. Let's go. Avaro's going to cut the seals of, that the elves set down now. So he reaches out his hands to the shackles, stopping the taboo weapon. And the blood throwing through his veins reacts and the magic within his body flows into the seal. And sending a vibration through the mad if sending a vibration through the air, the reverberation of his magic power breaks the barrier. Well, that's impressive. So, just like that, we can enter into the weapon, is it? But, thanks to this situation, there's another problem that's arisen. So, there isn't a barrier protecting the god's haze anymore. And now, there aren't any shackles binding now the weapon. In other words, if we take too much time in breaking the magic stones, Pariah is going to get out of here. Well, if that happens, well, pretty obvious what will happen. Just thinking about it is scary. Destroying a single country would be probably the first step of what would happen. And the Fuchsia Faith, in order to prevent that from happening, has always kept these two barriers. Alright. If only that, we need to... We absolutely need to avoid at least that. Hmm. I think I worded that poorly. Alright, let's get in there. We're going into the center... <laughs> so, congratulations. Now I can enter. Good job, Avaro. So, butting into the... Well, butting into the good vibe we had going. This extremely unlucky voice we remember. So, 
So, the person who's arrived is one of the descendants who caused this whole spectacle. Guy doll, I thought that you wouldn't let this opportunity slip. Oh yeah. Oh, so you were able to feel out my presence. Avaro, you're too kind. Even predicting that I would come here, you still open up the way to the god for me. <laughs> So, this way we're related, you could say we have a connection. Now you just quit fucking around. We've already cut our ties with you. And even if they did remain, to us, it's nothing but a harmful relationship. Well, a bad connection is still a connection. Since you're the apostle of the goddess of connections, you shouldn't discriminate in the ones you accept. Furthermore, Gaidal's connection with Avaro started when Avaro was born. So, you know this already, right? The ones who tore your family, those, the connections of your family apart so ruthlessly was us. The Dark Refiners. So, you and I are connected with grudge and fate. Mm, grudge. I, you know, it's anger and hatred and things. Just this thing that won't go away. In any case, even if you try to cut it, it won't be cut. That's what it is. So, as Gaidal's trying to rub Avaro the wrong way, strangely, Avaro becomes more calm, and it's a quiet anger that takes him. Gaidal, did you take my parents' lives? Avaro doesn't remember their faces. He did hear that on their path they were killed, but he doesn't really remember them too, doesn't have a lot of deep feelings about it. But now, in front of Gaidal here, even Avaro thinks that he ought to take revenge. At that time, Gado was just a cute, innocent child. He didn't have the power to do it at... He didn't have the power back then. Yeah, okay. But he knew of Avaro's existence and he considered someday he may be of use. Well, Gaidal's got that creepy smile on as usual. Ah. せっかく命がけで他国へと逃がしたのに両親の思いを無限にして舞い戻りこうして私の前に現れた。Well, 
Avaro, you're so inconsiderate to your parents. After they, s after they gave their lives to deliver you to some foreign country, you've decided to ignore their will and come s dancing back to me. So, he awoke a sleeping god, guided the weapon to its destination, and in these long ears, what he was holding in his head to break the seal, he did it. Would he really have been holding it in his head? Yeah, whatever. Let's say Gaidel's telling the truth as he sees it. And anyway, and finally, allowed the clan's ambition to come to fruition here. Arigato, Avarok. Yahari, Kimi, a watashi ni kōun wo hakonde kite kureta. Kimi no okage de kami wo ayatsuri, ningen zoku o sekai kara toki hanatsu koto ga dekiru nda. So, thank you, Avaro. In the end, you are a blessing to me. Thanks to you, I can manipulate this god and free the hum and free his human clan from this world. Oh, he's got that crazy smile. Well, pretty much usual. So he's still thinking about his clan's ambition. Well, just thinking about it, just talking about it, he's overjoyed. Gee, guy, you're such a happy fellow. <sighs> How far you're going to pursue this ambition from the past boggles the mind. <laughs> Damn, you are one crazy motherfucker. So, we're going to stop you. We definitely can't leave you alone. And if we have to take your life, I'm going to... I'm going to... What is it? Damn. No, well, I'm going to get vengeance for my parents. Oh, there it pops into my mind. Huh. All right, Václav Gaidel, you are the world's enemy. And your crazed revolution, we're going to stop. <laughs> Bam. So that is a extremely good killing intent there. But your role is ended. So... Just wait there patiently. I'm feeling good right now. I'd like to play with you guys now, like this, but more than anything, I have something to prioritize. So he looks away from us and towards Pariah. <laughs> Man, don't you know it's too, e e too early for your evil gloating? <laughs> so, I finally arrived. I just can't stop laughing. <sighs> So this is the proof of the great works my ancestors made. The weapon binding the present god Pariah. 
how unsightly is this the figure of a god who forced all those races to lend them lend him their power is this the state of the god who ruled countries in order to manufacture faith <coughs> Well, mock him all you want. I don't think he can hear you. Parai continues to sacrifice his body in his attempts to get free. Pulling out by power alone. But, even if he wounds himself like this, an effect of the power flowing into him is that he immediately recovers. So, Maiming himself and then recovering, repeating over and over. I wonder why they didn't say that the first time we saw him. Uh, anyway, in any case, he's still just crazy as hell. And although he is attempting to escape, it's just completely fruitless. <laughs> Well, having your freedom taken away, you seem so in pain. How about it? Do you understand, at least a little, the feelings of the humans you forced to give you faith? You looked down on the powerless people and you thought nothing of your but of yourselves protecting your power, increasing your power. And this is the result of your arrogance. Huh. Well he continues mocking the god. I have made you wait quite long. I will free you from this suffering. I will take that pain away. I'll bind you. I will seal your heart make you unable to judge right or wrong and manipulate you so you can't even lift one finger on your own accord. So I, the inheritor of the glories of my ancestors, will use you, you sinful you deeply sinful God, your deeply sinful God's power to its fullest. There we go. So, he seems perfectly satisfied. And he turns to go into the weapon. Alright, this is an end to your plan. We're not going to let you do it. And your ambition will not be fulfilled. We are going to stop you. Very well, it's a competition, let's say. Shall I take control or shall you free him? It's a showdown that makes my heart dance. Blech. Man, he's creepy. Anyway, let's go everybody. We've got to get to the center before Guide all does. Oh yeah? How do you think the people of the Heitai are not going to get to me? Oh, it seems like the soldiers in here aren't coming to attack me. Haha. The people of the Heitai are coming to attack me from the Heitai. So, 
It seems like they want Guy Dal to fulfill his ambition. You see, here is a full-blooded hero. Is a full-blooded human. And they're reacting to that. Here is a perfect human. This is a proper, a proper person to be taking control of the god. Very well. I shall control you. I, Guy, Václav Gaidal, as representative of the human tribe, shall use this god. Ah, oh, crap. Differently from him, they're going to be attacking us. I wonder why that is. Avaro too has the blood of that human tribe in him. In that case, wouldn't we be able to do the same thing? Well, Avaro is also a half elf. Yeah. <laughs> so even though they on that side have only one person. On this side, we've got all our allies, so, in any case, no matter what we do, this isn't going, we can't avoid a battle here. So, let's hurry forward. No matter what the reason, we can't allow Gaidal to arrive before us. So, oh, how nice. Oh, yes, I never did talk about it. But I've got so many food, TS. Well, I don't want Fia to be participating in battle directly so she doesn't get one. But, let's see. You're going to get one. Um, who's this? Detail? That's right. I'll put him at the end, actually. The importance of this will be clear later. Oh. Now, who else did I send this way? That's right. I needed someone who's resistant to both cold and lightning. No. That's right, I learned later that this is an Earth Mage. It has a green-like look to it, but it's more brown, actually. This one, who is slightly more green than this guy, is the Lightning Mage. How frustrating, right? So... Hmm. Well, this will be fine then. Now, something to make good use of. Summons! Water magic against fire mage. Ha ha ha, die. No, obviously I'm not really caring about capturing, am I? Oh, yeah. There's another soul gash over there. I think I'll kill it next turn. Now, using fire magic against the lightning mage is a good idea. Oh crap. I never had to worry about this before because in my trial runs, Avaro never had his remove ability activate. Now ah, this should be pretty safe. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to take that back and have Deed or not. Hell, I can work with this.
Oh yes, uh, who shall kill this one? Does it matter? Now, how, BJ Sama, you might be asking, am I going to kill Solgash this turn when I'm so far away? Secret weapon! You know, I suppose I need a critical hit, don't I? Ah, curse you, Solgash, for not giving me my critical hit. Oh, wait. You're kind of dumb, aren't you? Oh look, she absorbed it. So now she's at full life in spite of the hits she took. Suckers. Also, pro tip. Don't set an earth mage in range of a lightning mage. It's ugly. Nope, not done yet. Oh. Let me take a minute to show you the whole map here. We are... have to get here before Gekaidal does. This is an event. But it's a Gaidal event. Only he can activate it. We can stand on it all we like and nothing will happen. And he starts up here, walks through there. Normally in my two trial runs I met him right here. Which prevented me from getting by and getting this treasure and such and such. I've got an idea for this time, but if it doesn't work, I'll probably just leave it behind. In any case, one last thing before I end my turn. Oh great. I don't think Rurin is particularly vulnerable to these guys. I should equip him with some better attacks. At least melee attacks. Yeah, he isn't weak against these guys. Mm, 26, 29, or 24? 29 it is. Bastards! Man, sometimes it's like they want me to kill them. That prevention of counter ability is kind of annoying. Looks like that. Keeps me from hitting afterwards. Ah, Come on, we need Gaidal to... We need to put all we have into this so that Gaidal can be stopped at his usual point. Bam! Oh, good job, Kabi. Hmm. Sky the Muluga. Actually, no. I've got a better idea. I'll move Fia first. Now Detom can get in here. Well, it's not ideal. Maybe. Actually, I don't think there is any benefit to that. Okay, keep moving in, guys. Hmm. I boxed in Fia so I can't summon. Well. Guess I'll just have to deal with it. Okay, I can deal with this. Oh, 
Okay. You know something I haven't shown? She got a skill. Hm. Can't believe I left that. Anyway, where is it? Here it is. Yeah, that's about as good as it'll get for the moment. So let's see this combo skill with the... Uh, as we murder the hell out of this, whatever it is. Hmm. How disappointing. In my trial run, I managed to kill that in one round. <laughs> I forgot to do this earlier, but I wanted to summon up I. Not as usual for healing purposes, but well, we'll get to it. Oh, yeah, bad laminations. Well, let's kill this guy. Oh, yeah, battle animations. <laughs> Not bad, Ramrin. Okay. Now, Deed Helm can finish this sucker off. And we can continue moving forward. Okay, pro tip. Turn off the... Uh, whatever they're called. Battle animations. Jeez. Okay, thanks for hanging out with us, Rosaline. Alright, we've taken the room. It's not actually that important yet. Ah oh, man, Gaidal got to his spot. Oh, no. That's just the zombie archer. Got all still way back there. Okay. I can kind of use the double move around now. Mm. Okay, keep going. Um. Alright, I made it. Now I just need to punch this girl until she falls down. Yorin, you're the best at this. <laughs> uh, oh, frozen bird feather bow. But we've gotten plenty of those. We've been able to make them for a good long time. Man. Why does he get five movement points, but I only get four? Uh, anyway. Pro tip, don't let Fia get in range of this guy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Here's a safe spot. 
Yes, that seems a bit much, but, you know, bear with me. I originally wanted I to be up there taking the spot Yorin's in, but Yorin will do. Now, let's see. Do you have some kind of ice or fire bow that's really weak? Here's one. Yeah, the lightning would have worked as well. And it's short range. That's convenient, such as it is. You know what, I'm going to need to grab this while we're here. Oh, this is a dark sword for eel. It might be the first weapon. Oh, good, this is exactly what I wanted out of Gaidal. Sucker! Patience, Yorin, your time will come. Yep, this is good. Dethelm's going to stand right here. Oh. Also, buff his magic defense as much as humanly possible. Right here. Oh yes, and... Mikshuana has the good shoes for magic defense. Samuel Greaves. You know it just for the moment. Hmm, I never did get the upgraded magic defense amulet accessory. But this will do. So, good job. Exactly as planned. Oh wait. Don't get in range. And whatever you do, Fia, don't get in range of Gaidal. Fia, what are you doing? Fia, you idiot. Don't do that. Man, I liked Fia too, and now she's going to die. Just making sure there. So, um, yeah. Farewell, Fia. We loved you. No, oh. I wasn't expecting him to attack Deedhelm, actually. But, whatever. Let's see him one time as we shoot him for no particular reason. Actually, I should have defended So, here it is. They finally get to grant the wish of his ancestors, and he won't let anyone interfere. Blah blah bad guy talk. Hey, does that crystal shine more than it did before? Oh. And because he's an idiot, he decided to use a darkness attack against Deathelm. Who has what? 50% resistance to darkness? 75% resistance to darkness. Oh, Jorgen, you're so sneaky! You got in right behind him as he walked by. So... Okay, everything's good. Oh no! Fia! Except... It's Dinehelm who takes the hit. This is that ability I spoke of before. Right here. I equipped it off-screen a while back. But... If anybody makes a ranged attack on someone next to him, like Fia right now, Deathelm will take it instead of them. And particularly, he likes to use this darkness attack on Fia, but... Deathelm takes the attack, nothing happens, ha. Huh? <laughs> so, deploy point, and now I get to find out what's back there. Oh, there's an enemy still to be killed. <laughs> A perfect chance to test out Eel's new sword. Hey, plus 30 attack. And made of darkness. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. Oh, it's one of the angels that runs away though, so that could be a pain. Oops. Hmm. 
Mm, yeah, that's fine. I do kind of want you around in case there are any hidden rooms. One, two, three, four, five. Nuts. Eel's not going to get far enough. Well. Haha, <laughs> you're a sucker guy, though. Nice level up. The only thing we can move more we could ask for is speed. I'm retiring Avaro just so I don't have to deal with him every turn. And honestly, I could pull Fia back as well. Okay, no more capturing. We're killing now. So, Rosine gets in. Oh great, 30 wood. Just what I always wanted. Okay, keep you out of range of that. You'll be fine where you are. Now, you know what? I think Eel's gonna die if that happens, so I'm gonna wait for her to attack someone else. Jeez. Okay, it's only two. Eel's a good girl. Ah, Mount Elemental Attack. This will do more damage, but ultimately, Detail should be fine. To a certain extent, Deed has a crazy... Or, Geidel has a crazy critical hit rate against Deed, so... Be wary when letting him hit. Okay, yo. Darkness Sword! Man, I was hoping for a one-tick kill. Nothing special there. Okay, thanks, I, but you're not necessary anymore. You know, maybe I should fight back a little bit. Just to hurry up the eventual killing that we're going to be doing. Uh, not if he's not going to use that. Mine went blank. If he's not going to use his darkness attack, may as well just have Deedhelm defend. Darkness attack. Alright, Deedhelm. Give him one too. I don't really know why I have Fia here. Oh, wait, I remember. Interesting. Uh, I don't know why, but there's a shrine you can fix back here. Darkness? No. Darkness. Hmm. Well, I can deploy a Varo since I pulled him back a while ago. Now, what is this? Three Jupiter Stones. Um, that's good, I guess. You know, I wonder if Gaidal can run out of it. SP. Not at the rate he's using it, apparently. Yeah, he's probably got regenerating, gaining 8 or 9 back every turn, and that only takes 7. Now, if I attacked him, forcing him to use more of his SP, that would be a different matter. But who needs that? Hmm. Looks like we've got control of basically the whole map, so no hidden rooms. Probably. 
<laughs> so all's well. I can expect up to a hundred damage out of Deed Helm, so we can do that one more time safely. Oh, a large fatigue potion. You know what? Let's not wait another... God damn it. Let's not wait another turn. We'll take the deploy point now. And a borrow. Yes. Remove, remove. Remove. Here we go. Great. That means when we kill him. Hmm. Hell, why not? Wait, wait, wait. Undo. Well, that was a bit bad. But what I was worried about was him... killing Gaidal before he had the dropping items on. Now... Whom can I take it off? Even though it's the very end, let's get triple drops out of him. Here we go. Another level up. Didn't you already get one this level? Alright, uh, teleportation armlets. That's a lot of teleportation armlets. Great. So. Right. Now all we need to do is release Pariah. But it doesn't look like Gaidal's giving up yet. So, although he's violently injured, He's forcing his body to keep moving. <laughs> oh, some punk ass I defeated. Standing there, dripping with blood. This reminds me of something. Hmm. Right, this is like when we killed Kudvans. Shut up, it's in my head, Conan. It totally happened. Okay, so, Avaro. No matter what you do, it is fruitless. So, the god belongs to him. We, the Dark Refiners, for our ambition, are going to use that great power. Blah, blah. Well, from what he's saying, he hasn't given up. What do you do, Avaro? If we don't completely stop him, we won't have time to... We won't have the free time to do what we need to do. And that's right. As long as Gaidal hasn't been eliminated, we can't do the magic stone stuff. All the work we need to do properly. Anyway, we still do need to do a bit of investigation on the best way to pull through it. That's right, he never saw the interior of the castle. He just made a plan for when he can map the place out. Ah, in any case, just like this, we can't continue to do this. So, is there a good way to do it? Right. The best thing is to prevent Gaidal from taking control of the weapon. If we do that, we can stop him. So, with those words, Navarro sets the magic power in his body to working. And Gaidal somehow gets the feeling of what he's doing. And for the first time, he doesn't seem Oh, so reassured. Mother! 
待ちとめ貴様アバロ<笑> Wait, stop there! Damn you, Avara! So, what I'm going to do to stop Gaidal is form a contract with Paraya. So, Avara's still running his magic into the magic stone ceiling Paraya and registering as Paraya's new owner. After all, there are two people here who can make these kind of contracts. If Avaro does it first, then the ownership right of Pariah can't be taken away. Well, Gaidal did have a plan to take Pariah's ownership right away, way back when. Uh, but, yeah, he doesn't have the same opportunities now, does he? Ah, damn you, what have you done? Oh man, this is a pretty heavy. So there's reactions in Avaro's body. But with this, his ambition is ended. Avaro, are you alright doing something like that? Do these contracts really hurt that much? Yeah. Fine. So, Gaidal's giving off an expression we haven't seen out of him. His anger is just welling up from his whole body. Unforgivable. I'll never forgive you, Avaro. Yuck, 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 yuck. Man, you seem pretty disappointed. Well, Gaidal, I'm having you retire from this place. So, looking at Avaro, uh, looking at Gaidal, Avaro sets his magic power going again. Paraya, I, your master Avaro, command. Eliminate this intruder. So, the defensive mechanisms react to Avaro's will and prepare to attack the newly registered intruder. Har! Well, this is the kind of thing that Avaro never did with Fia, forcing Pariah to do this. But whatever. Ah, uh, more satisfying sounds have never been heard. Uh, this is the part where you fall down. Alright, he receives these attacks and coughs up a good amount of blood. But almost like he forgets the pain immediately, he continues with that creepy smile of his. <laughs> いいね。実に素晴らしい。相手の心労を塞ぐような、かといって退路を残すでもない。最高の選択だよ。Nice, truly splendid. You won't let allow me to proceed forward, and you don't leave me a route to escape. The best decision. 君がそうやって覚悟を示すからこそ。so, if you're going to come at me that seriously, here at the end of the end, I too would like to go out like myself. This doesn't sound good, does it? So, the magic flower flowing through Gaidal's body as he glares starts bizarrely expanding. Damn, Gaidal, what are you doing? Uh, oh, it hurts. Avaro, you know how to do it. Thank you, 
thanks for that. I'm all through my body. It hurts so bad I can't stand it. But even so, right now I feel so good. Creepy. Because the time has finally come. My clan's ambition has finally... The time for my clan's ambition to finally come to fruition. Don't go talking that creepy shit right now. Pariah isn't going to be falling under your control. So it's time to let go of the grudge from the past. There's no God for you to control anymore. In this world anymore. So there's no way for his wish to be granted. But Gaidal continues to smile. Yeah, yeah. So they were much again. Uh, no, no, that's not right, Avaro. What isn't? <laughs> well, what is he mistaken about? It's your premises. Taking control isn't what of our, what Gaidal wants anymore. As long as he can fulfill his objective, that alone is enough. So, spitting out that words, he wipes away the blood that's flowing out of his body. I feel like I've already said this, but I have always wanted this. Hmm. So he won't let anyone interfere. He's been living for this moment. For this moment he has always been preparing. So he's going to prove that there is no dream that cannot be reached. Right now, he is shining most brilliantly. So, this magic power that's flowing out of his body starts going into action. So, it enters into the weapon, heads towards Pariah's body, and goes into the magic stones. Stop it! Stop it, Gaidal! So if you do that, so many people will be hurt. And even you won't get out of it safely. Now, be revived. My ancestors captured evil god. Your movements have been bound, and your spirit has been raped. But still, you've been waiting for us. You God of Calamity. Wielding the power of the rulers of the world. First of all, sub subsume the kingdom of Infrus in despair. <laughs> so, Fia doesn't want him to do it. So, that black magic power is freeing the god. Oh man, that can't be good. So, with such frail controlling power as a human at his helm, 
He goes berserk and can't be stopped. He should have been under a contract with Avaro, but... Avaro can't control it any longer. And he breaks out. So, those humans that rose that rebellion against the gods, thanks to Guy Adel, has the present god Fiat, present god Pariah, released upon the world. <laughs> so, insane god. Release that great power indiscriminately and and oh, spread terror throughout. Display the power of the humans and rip open a void in the world. Show our will to the world with endless destruction. Alright, are you done with the bad guy talk yet? I'm tired of translating it. So, saying that, Gaidal's power is burned out completely. Seems like he's at his limit, and he collapses. With Gaidal's life burned out. Although he was under our control for a moment, Pariah goes berserk. So, those whirlwinds that were preventing entry and exit to the holy grounds, and those chains that were binding down this weapon, have already been broken. So this greatly powerful taboo weapon breaks out of the slope of the god's haze and reveals itself to the world. Alright, so this has run long enough. So, thanks for watching and we can see the conclusion of this next time.